Welcome to the Getting Started Guide to familiarize yourself with your Sky computer once it is finished loading. On the right hand side you'll notice that we've given you some shortcuts to prominent download links and websites that you might find relevant at the beginning of your Liquid Sky experience. So first we recommend installing Steam which is just double click this and you'll see the prompt to download Steam. Same with downloading the recommended browser which is Chrome and if you want to see a speed test to see how fast your internet connection is with your Sky computer you can do so here. Just keep in mind if you have any questions to open up the FAQ link here so that you can reference any of our frequently asked questions. For this next part I want to familiarize you with the Liquid Sky menu which you can usually find at the top of your screen. There are a few things I want to focus on. First things I want to focus on is the quality of your experience. So you have a quality slider over here that you can manually adjust by unclicking auto and just drag and drop or by using the plus and minus buttons. This will render the quality of video feed that you are getting and we recommend that if you have a good strong internet connection that you go higher and if you have a poor internet connection it's probably best to go lower. But we do actually recommend using the auto checkbox here and that will usually render the best quality that your current device can handle. Your other options for managing quality is clicking on the settings icon over here and you'll be able to toggle between 720 and 1080p resolution as well as 30 and 60 frames a second. So if you want the maxed experience go to 1080p at 60 frames a second and max out the quality but just keep in mind depending on the device you're logged in from you might have some limitations. When it comes to core functions of your Liquid Sky experience here are some buttons for quick reference. You can hit F11 or toggle F11 here and you'll be able to toggle between full screen. If you are experiencing any issues with your mouse cursor or you are playing a game and you're noticing high sensitivity, we highly recommend first trying hitting F12 as an immediate way to troubleshoot the problem uh, and that usually will fix the majority of the problems. If for any reason while installing an application or accessing anything in your Sky computer requires a admin password, simply just click the admin password to generate your admin password. Other core functions can be found in the settings tab over here where you can set up your controller. So if you have a controller, you'll be able to just set it up accordingly here, very similar to the setup of an Xbox 360 controller. Another core function you will find in the settings menu is the option to completely reset your Sky computer, uh, as well as your timeout settings, which we feel is important for you to set in your first Liquid Sky experience. It usually is defaulted to 20 minutes, meaning if you are idle for 20 minutes, your Sky computer session will end. To successfully log out of Liquid Sky, simply just click the log out button and hit the end session. Two very important things to pay attention to is your available storage and your available Sky credits. Now you can use Sky credits to purchase additional storage or use Sky credits for access to your Sky computer. If any time you exceed the amount of storage that you have or if you have not purchased any storage, every time you end your session it will completely reset, meaning anything you did during that session will be lost and unrecoverable. So it's always important to click the green plus button here and purchase storage from our website using your available Sky credits. If you do not have any Sky credits, you can simply hit the plus button here and purchase more at any time or sign up for our Gamer Monthly Plan. Now I'd like to walk you through some troubleshooting items for any common situation where you might be experiencing any uh, screen tearing issue or quality loss issues. Um, or if you have a poor connection, a couple things that you can do. In the situation that you have a poor connection, we recommend playing with the quality slider and maybe reducing it uh, from what the auto checkbox recommends. Your other alternative is to go to settings and reduce your screen resolution or your frame rates uh, in the situation that your current device or internet connection cannot handle um, that performance. If you're experiencing any other issues, try clicking on system and toggling between the different decoders to see if either one of these gives you a better experience. And of course, always make sure to log out of your session properly by hitting end session to make sure that you're not being charged any unnecessary credits. We hope you enjoy your Sky computer, and by all means, reach out to us anytime with any questions or suggestions. Thank you.